such a beautiful place, such a beautiful country. I prayed, I prayed, and I prayed. I must live on. There was a recruiting team from Ministry of Defense. Then I received a letter to say that I'm selected. May the 6th, that was the day I got myself engaged into the Malaysian Army. I have my 10 fingerprints embossed on my attestation paper, not two thumbprints. Then we realized it is serious business. I'm the only Chinese selected for the regular cadet training. By 1977, I was already major, and Orang Asli in the area of Gopeng, Perak, encountered a group of cities. I was leading a platoon to do an ambush with a guide of three Orang Asli. Until the late evening, about five something, Orang Asli, they refused to move anymore. They told me, Tuan, itu musuh ada tepan. Tak boleh lagi. They were shivering. Gave my orders tomorrow morning to do the attack. As we move up here, going for to the position, Ranger Adnan, unfortunately, he crawled over a mine. Then immediately, surprise was lost. We had exchange of fires, volume of fires pouring down here. And in between the fire shoot, I myself got received a ricochet bullet. And I was tumbled down. This is the bullet fired from the enemy that really took my dear life. Initially, they thought I'm dead. So I have to be on the set. I spoke to them, I'm alive. I'm not dead, you know. I'm still in command. The helicopter came. Uh, I have to make a decision. Ranger Andan was bad. He need medical. Mangi. Now, he went out, the second trip. As an officer, we are responsible for our men. We are accountable for our men. They are important. These men, they fight. Their life is more valuable. There are so many of them. I'm only one. I'm OK. If I die, too bad. You are the officer. You are accountable. You are responsible. You're going with 100 men, you come up with 100 men. We do not finish work and we do not go home. I'm responsible for them. I cannot go up myself because I, first, of course, I'm an officer. I cannot leave the man. Whether you are Chinese, you are Malay, you are Indian, it's the same. There's no such thing as racial in the armed forces. Of course, I was also very weak. I can't breathe. I was suffocating. It hit my sternum, cut my liver, and the bleeding is from the liver that plugged in my stomach because of the diaphragm being punctured. So the blood also seeped into my lung cavity. That's why it makes me difficult to breathe. I was conscious all, all throughout. If I felt unconscious, then... Waiting for the helicopter. It was very quiet. It was very quiet, very serene. I prayed. I did not pray for ten, umpteen years. I prayed. I said the Hail Mary prayer. I asked the Virgin Mary, give me a second chance. I love this war. I love my country. We do not ask how much the country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. I am Major Patrick Wong Sinan, retired from the Corps of Regiment Malaysia. I'm proud to say that for the 26 years I served in the Army and fought for the freedom of the 11 country that we all call Malaysia.